ठीक है अंदर on the uh, same note of table spaces uh, there is a diagram in your uh, book which is a very commonly used diagram also in all the oracle uh, uh, oracle documentation so i'm going to draw that diagram here and uh, i will just make sure that we understand that diagram so this is the uh, first this say it's a database uh, okay i will draw it a little up okay this is a database then uh, a database is made up of what uh, table spaces yeah come on, come on. that's fine good yeah a database is made up of uh, table spaces okay this is something we can understand then a table space inside the table space what is there segments. there are segments yes inside the table space there are segments segments inside the segments uh, there are extents and inside the extents there are blocks and these blocks are database block db blocks so this is actually you know what is called as a logical logical view this is called as a logical view uh, from the database angle why logical because i cannot really show you the database i cannot really show you the table spaces i cannot show you physically on the hard disk uh, a segment okay if i ask you can you please back up only table a you cannot do that because it is sitting inside some data file you can only play around with the data file so therefore now the logical view is this the physical view is on the data file data file so one table space is made up of data file this is physical this is logical and they also have one more thing this is called as a os block operating system block so one database block which is now we have seen that the standard block size is 8k is made up of multiple os blocks on the operating system side each thing is a block and this is usually let us say if you are on the unix it is 512 bytes 512 bytes on the unix side so one os block sorry one database block will consist of multiple os blocks so this is the physical view and this is the logical view you will also see a, a kind of a, you know a arrow going from here to here because extents are also inside the data files segments are also inside basically data files so you can back up the data uh, data files and therefore by backing up the data files you'll be backing up what everything inside the data file and that will be the backup so physical view sorry logical view and the physical view this diagram is there in many of the oracle's documentation and i think we understand this now database table space segments extends database block and i would go and kind of ask one more thing to be drawn here this is rows rows are here okay so if you we probably cannot cannot see rows over there so that is that is fine so rows are at the bottom so this is one diagram now there is another diagram that that you asked me a question on which will explain certain things your question was what what is the difference between segments and uh, the extent extents. what is the difference between the segment and extent we saw multiple extents will create a segment but now on the disk on the hard disk let us say this is your hard disk this is your uh, first data file and second data file club together this is my table space so this is my table space now and inside the table space there are these uh, so sorry inside the table space there is the first extent let us say i have created a table a so this is the first extent of table a a1 so then i have another table b table and the first extent of the b table is here then because why because i created this table first and then i created this table next now this table b somebody is inserting huge amount of data into table b so this extent which is made up of all the blocks and everything else is full now so the next extent for table b must be allocated automatically by oracle we don't do any allocation huh? all these things are happening automatically behind the scenes we don't even come to know about that so the next extent of that table whatever the size is is allocated but this is for b this is the second extent for the table b now after that table a guy he says now i want to insert data into table a 
So he comes in and he adds more data into table A. This whole thing is filled. Now, therefore, you need one more extent for table A. So that is A2. And then one more extent for table A, maybe A3, and maybe A4. And likewise, the entire, uh, you know, almost all the disk space is now filled with a uh, table A. Little later on, table B comes in and he says, okay, B3 now. And then later on, C guy comes in, he creates a C1, and then D guy comes in and he creates D1. So likewise, my entire table space is now filled with different extents. And what is a segment now? Your question was, what is a segment? My segment is A. My segment is B. My segment is C, and my segment is D. In my first segment A, how many extents do I have? This first A1, and A2, and A3, and A4, and A5. These are the extents of my first segment. So if I want to show you where is the segment A, I will be showing you at five different points. Part of the segment A is here, part of the segment A is here, part of the segment A is here likewise. So segment is not contiguous. Extent is a contiguous space. Segment is not. And as you can see here, there is this data file somewhere here in the middle. Okay. So some extents of my table A will be in one data file okay and other extents of my table a would be in other data file very important point to understand this is a data file let us say fin uh, data 1.dbf this is this one and this is fin data 2.dbf so now if i say that only backup fin data 1.dbf it will be kind of not so good because half of my table is in fin data 2 data file and half of my table is in fin data 1 data file Hmm. That's why when you back up, usually you should back up the whole table space. You can back up a data file also. That is, that is a different issue. We'll talk about that during the backup recovery. So your question is, where is the segment? Yes, I cannot show you and pinpoint you. This is where one, this one segment is. Segment is all across the, uh, you know, all, all across the table space. But I can show you, yes, this is the extent because it is contiguous. Now, okay, this will bring you to another important uh, discussion now. What if table B is dropped? What if table B is dropped? That particular area is so that particular area, this area and this area, both extents. Okay, this is now free. Nothing is there. This is also free. Nothing is there. Okay, so now within this table space, which was earlier of one gigabyte size, two extents are free. Now what happens? Somebody comes and says, I would like to insert more data into D1. Uh, more data into segment D. That means D1 is full. After that, maybe D2 will come over here. Hmm. Maybe D2 will come over here. And maybe, uh, you know, C1 or C2 will come over there. So likewise, all these, uh, you know, as you drop more and more tables, there would be holes that would get created in your data file or in your table space. And this is what fragmentation is. This fragmentation is what creating holes. Uh, and, and then we have certain commands to reduce the fragmentation. We have certain uh, you know things called as coalescing, and we'll see what that is. So we need to understand the concept of what is this uh, hole, what are these holes, and what is this fragmentation business. We'll see the command a little later to bring it together. Huh? Sir, uh, so now I think uh, anybody who has done the uh, the drop command, uh, drop. Uh, command, uh, sorry, drop table, uh, what was that, B, and purge. The moment you say purge, this is gone totally. If you don't say purge, the data is still there. Okay, in fact, even if you say purge, the data is still there, but it can be overwritten by anybody. Hmm. So, yeah, I mean, actually, when we drop a table, suddenly data is not wiped out. Uh, you know, the, the, that residual things are still there. But yes, purge will kind of uh, keep everything over there, and if we uh, and it will rename the table with something else. That is the flashback technology. We'll see that later. Now, huh? so if there are holes, to then uh, next section will be created over there. Priority huh. will begin over there. Priority will, yeah, whatever, wherever the free space is, wherever the free space is, it will go and uh, put us <coughs> a new extent over there. Segments is just a collection of extents. Ex extents. Huh. Five extents. If we talk about the, the last four, A5, B3, C1, and D1, huh? the collection of these four extents also is a... No, 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 no. 
uh, segment has to be only one. Segment is a table. Okay, now to understand it easily, consider segment as a table. Uh, or index or? Or index, yeah. So basically, you cannot say that part of table A, part of table B, part of the, that is not a segment. Segment is one and one thing only. Employee is a segment. Department is a segment. Uh, jobs is a segment. That is what a segment is. You cannot say part of department and part of employee is one segment. No. Those are, huh, those are just extents of some two other segments. So uh, maybe let me redefine. A segment is basically A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. That is one segment. And then uh, C1 is also one segment. D1 and D2 maybe. Here D2 was there. Uh, another segment. But part of A and part of B cannot be called as one segment. Now if uh, in a uh, whole table space, huh? A1 and B2 is there. A1 and B2. Okay, let me let me draw that diagram now. In the entire table space here, there is A1 and B2. B2. You have to have. B1, B1. Okay, let us say B1. Okay. Then I have two extents, and therefore I have also two extents, uh, two segments. This cannot be called as one segment. Okay, for one table. One segment. One segment. One table is one segment. That's it. Okay. Easy to understand. And yeah. If there are holes and currently unless all the spaces occupied by uh, in the table space, then you don't get an error message that table space is hmm. full. Yes, yes. If the free space is there, even if it is in holes, then it is used. It is in use. And but now is fragmentation of total hole. Fragmentation. Let us say A one is here, B one is here, again B two is here, then B three is here. Okay. And then uh, C one is here. C1 and let us say C, uh, C2. Hmm. Now, if you drop table B, so there would be three holes created here. This will be gone, this will be gone, this will be gone. Three holes are created here. That is what their fragmentation is. Okay, now if you don't drop a table, this was what B1, right? B1, B2, and B3. Now, let us talk about truncating a table. There is a difference between dropping a table and a truncating a table. What is the fundamental difference? In the drop, the table is gone, the data is gone, everything is gone. There is no trace, or trace of the table. But in truncation, the structure is there, but data is all gone. Okay. Now, a table has to have, this is a ruler, a table has to have at least one extent. A table has to have at least one extent. Now, if I truncate table, first thing, if I drop table B1, what is going to, uh, sorry, B, Table is not B1, table is B. If I drop table B1, let me repeat this. If I talk, drop table B, B1 will be gone, B2 will be gone, and B3 will be gone. Okay. But if I truncate table B, B3 will be gone, B2 will be gone, but B1 will still be there. Because, why? Because table has to have at least one extent. Will there be any data in B1? No. There will be no data in B1, but still it will occupy this much of space. That is what truncate will do. So again, a fundamental difference between drop and truncate is this. That in drop, all extents are gone. In truncate, one extent is kept. Then what about uh, the rest two? Rest two are empty. Those are holes now. Those are holes. But uh, you know, well-defined size. Huh, they, they are size of, of the perfect size, whatever was previous their next size. extent, previous size. They are exactly, if we drop an extent of a size 64 kilobytes, there will be a hole of 64 kilobytes. Now if we drop uh, the two simultaneous 64 kilobytes uh, extent, huh? then it will make 128 kilobytes. No, 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 no. okay. Huh. This will not be 128, that, that will not be correct and that is what we do, uh, we, we, it will not be 128 kilobytes of contiguous space, it will be 64 kilobytes and right next to it another 64 kilobytes uh, but those would be two different holes not one hole and that will create another problem I will tell you that is again going to create another problem but have we understood the difference between drop and truncate okay now to answer your question now what problem will it create he says you know will there be a continuous space of 64 plus 64 128 the answer is no there will be two separate holes one will be of 64 kilobytes another will be of 64 kilobytes now where will this create a problem let us say i want to create another table now hmm. and the size of the initial extent of that table is going to be 128 kilobytes 128 kilobytes is the initial extent of that table i am going to create the table and now how much of free space is there in my table space 128 kilobytes 
but is it contiguous no since it is not contiguous I will not be able to create one big extent for table D in my table space what is my option then my option is to create an initial extent of 64 and next extent of also 64 so initial extent 64 D1 will come here when this D1 is full then it will use this for D2 so that is why it is very important when you create too many tables don't give separate sizes don't give the initial extent for this as 10 kilobytes and the next one is 100 kilobytes and one megabyte because what is going to happen you are going to create these holes or, or uh, you know uh, you know the, the extents of various sizes if you drop one table the hole that will get created will be of that specific size of what you had created earlier and another block or another sorry another extent may not fit in there because their requirement could be different so the good idea to avoid fragmentation too much or avoid those loopholes is to create all tables with uniform sizes of their extents uniform sizes of their extents can we resize the extent can we no we cannot resize the extent once the extent is created we cannot resize it we can resize the table space first it is created you cannot resize it that is that is the main thing but then how do you resize an extent that is that is a question there what i would do i would create one table with uh, whatever bad extent sizes i had created earlier i would create another table with new sizes and get the data from here to here hmm. so let us say you realize that table b1 b is uh, with an extent size that you don't like so what do you do now you say create table c as select star from b and when you give the storage class for that you give the correct extent size that and then drop the earlier table so from the old table which is having incorrect extent size you create a new table but new table is going to have correct sizes just get the data from here to here it will migrate we should restructure the table space like if we uh, drop d1 into c1 c2 huh? then we have lots of space you know left and at the end but still those are separate holes and you there is a command now we will see those commands to coalesce it yeah right that is the coalescing command yeah but if you don't use that command, then yes, you have uh, separate holes there. But you said that the hole that uh, hole will be occupied by the extents. Hole, the hole will be occupied by the extent only if the extent that will newly get created will be of that hole size. The size of the hole and the size of the new extent that you are going to create should match. Then it will get created, or it should be less than that. It cannot be more than that. Hmm. Now uh, this is a very common task of a DBA also that there is a table space there are a lot of tables that are getting created for a long time and there is now a lot of fragmentation that has happened some tables are having this size some tables are having that extent size what to do performance starts going down when there is a fragmentation there the very easiest way the easiest way is to take a backup of all these tables okay so when I take a backup of all these tables we'll see the various ways of taking the backups and then the backup is stored inside some some place on some D drive or something like that and then drop everything drop everything over here because we have taken a backup and then now with the help of this backup this backup will be called as a backup of export EXPORT so take an export and then do an import and when we do an import you know we are creating one table after another one table after another because all the extents are already created there will not be any kind of holes there anymore because we have dropped everything and now we have created everything again that is what the whole thing is okay drop the you can you can drop the table space recreate the table space everything will be coming back so this process is called as reorg reorganizing the table space Reorg is basically an activity where you do an export of all the tables, you drop this whole thing and you don't import. And because of this dropping and re-importing, it will be kind of reorganizing the whole thing. So there is also come an alternate table can be moved table space that we ah, so we will see that a table will be moved from one to another table space. Yeah. Ah, so we kind of understand now uh, the, the complication details of, of all these things. Huh? So we'll